It's often been said that the best camera is the one that you have with you. And although that is very cliche, there is a lot of truth to that statement. Now it's no secret that phone photography has come a long way. I'm an iPhone user myself. I don't really have any experience with Android phones. I know they're very good, but I absolutely love the iPhone and I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max right now. And the 48 megapixel sensor on that phone has been absolutely fantastic. I was, I've always blown away with the quality that that camera can produce when I look at the results. And I think one of the biggest things is if you're starting out and creating content, you may not necessarily wanna drop three to $5,000 on a whole camera system. But most people out there have a phone that is very capable of creating some great photos and video. So in this video, I wanna talk about how you can take your phone photography and videography to the next level. A few months ago, I got my hands on the Lens Ultra Kit from ShiftCam and it's completely overhauled the capabilities of my iPhone content creation. Now, as always, when I talk about a product on this channel, I wanna be as transparent as possible. And this video is in fact sponsored by ShiftCam. They've been a great supporter of me and this channel and my entire content creation. And I just wanna emphasize that I don't promote a product if I don't fully support it. And this whole series, all of the lenses included in the series, are absolutely phenomenal in terms of quality. The Lens Ultra series is comprised of seven different lenses that offers a variety of different capabilities for both photo and video with your phone content creation. Now the entire kit can be purchased for about $1,100 I believe. I'm not gonna go too much into pricing because it can all be found on their website which I will link down below. And if you're interested, you can use the code JROMES10 to get yourself 10% off, whether it's the whole kit or smaller bundles. And I think the smaller bundles can be found for around a couple of hundred dollars. But as I mentioned earlier, if you're getting started and you don't wanna drop, you know, several thousand dollars on a whole video or photo kit, this is an excellent way to get started and get the most out of what your phone already offers. And also kind of learn the basics of composition, lighting, and storytelling. And these lenses really elevate that and help you achieve those goals. These shift cam lenses are incredibly portable. You don't obviously have to bring all seven lenses with you at once. Generally, I'll bring one or two with me when I'm going on a hike and I can easily fit them in a very small sling with my phone because the lenses are incredibly small and compact. This allows me to stay extra portable if I just wanna go on a hike or if I'm going out with my family. I don't have to worry about lugging my entire camera kit with me just to document some day-to-day -day family activities. Now these aren't just for day-to-day -day documenting. The iPhone 14 Pro in particular is a fantastic camera and I've done an entire video on the quality of this camera already and these lenses really bring it to the next level. I've taken these lenses with me to some of my favorite locations in the Utah desert, up to Wyoming and the Grand Teton National Park and I even took them with me on a recent trip to Iceland. And I've seen some incredible results with these lenses. As I mentioned earlier, one of the biggest selling points with these lenses is it allows you to pack light. So if you're going on a very long hike and you want to pack light, this is an excellent option to consider. So as I mentioned, the Lens Ultra series is comprised of seven different lenses and three filters. A 75 millimeter long range macro, a 10X traditional macro, a 60 millimeter telephoto, 200 degree fisheye, a 1.33 anamorphic and a 1.55 anamorphic. Well, now this one right here is my absolute favorite for both photo and video, and it is their 16 millimeter lens. So getting into a little bit of detail, the iPhone 14 Pro, which is what I have, their new camera is the main 1X camera, which offers 48 megapixels of resolution. Now that camera is fantastic, but if you wanna go into the ultra wide camera, the 0.5X camera, it goes back down to 12 megapixels. And you'll also notice some poor performance in low light as well. Now that main camera, the 48 megapixel 1X camera, is absolutely fantastic in low light and it has incredible detail because it has a resolution of 48 megapixels. And most of the shift cam lenses go onto the 48 megapixel camera. But it's limited because it's only at 24 millimeters. So you can put the 16 millimeter lens on and it offers you a much wider field of view whilst retaining the quality of the 48 megapixel sensor and also that low light performance as well. And it's also really easy to use. I have shift cams phone case for my iPhone 14 Pro. I actually have the 14 Pro Max now because I wanted a larger screen. And you can see that it has two threads on these two cameras. This one's the main camera right here, and this one is the telephoto camera. So I think one of the lenses will work on the telephoto camera, but the majority of them will go on the 1X camera. And then all you have to do is just line it up, get those threads lined up, 
and then you just screw it on and then it's good to go. Now, one thing to mention is if you have it auto set to go into macro mode, you're gonna have to turn that off because the phone will recognize that something is close by and it switches to a different camera for macro mode, which is going to cause the lens to be visible because it's using this camera uh, right here instead of the main camera. So turn off auto macro mode in the settings. Um, that's one of the main things to do to begin with, and then you won't run into that issue. Now, I can't say that I have experience with all of the lenses from the Lens Ultra series, because some of them are definitely more specialized to specific types of content creation, such as the 200 degree fisheye lens. But I was able to test out some of the macro lenses just in my garden, and I was honestly pleasantly surprised with the capabilities that these lenses have opened up with iPhone photography. Along with the lenses, Shift Cam also offer a couple of filters, some variable neutral density filters, and a circular polarizer. Now the circular polarizer is a very important filter to use, particularly if you're interested in automotive photography. Reflections are really prevalent in car photography, particularly if it's like a black gloss car, or if there's very high reflections and contrast in windows, a circular polarizer is crucial to cutting out those reflections and those glares. So being able to to have a circular polarizer that works with your phone just opens up a ton of more opportunities to creating content with your phone. And then with the telephoto lenses, just like with the 60 millimeter wide lens, this opens up a lot more opportunities with your photography using your phone because you can get some really nice compressed scenes with those telephoto lenses. I particularly love the 60 millimeter telephoto lens because like the 16, it's used on that main 48 megapixel camera of the iPhone 14 Pro. So you get all of the resolution, all the low light quality, but it goes to 60 60 millimeters rather than being limited at 24. One of the most unique lenses that ShiftCam offers is the anamorphic lenses. Now these are specialty lenses primarily for video. They're based off cine anamorphic lenses, which are very expensive for high-end cameras. And we often see filters that have been made that can kind of mimic the lens flare that an anamorphic lens will produce. One of their key characteristics is their cinematic aspect ratio. Now, when using an anamorphic lens, you're going to have to de-squeeze it because it is going to squish the end result. So when using Shift Cam's anamorphic lenses on your phone, you're going to have to invest in a third-party app that's going to allow you to de-squeeze that video footage. I use Cinema P3, which is about $11 one-time purchase, and not only does it provide de-squeeze for 1.33 and 1.55 anamorphic lenses, it also provides a variety of different functions that are lacking on Apple's traditional camera app. Continuing with the video-centric offerings from ShiftCam, alongside the anamorphic lenses, they also offer a two to five variable neutral density filter and a six to nine variable neutral density filter. Now, what these do is they act as sunglasses for your camera to prevent too much light coming into the sensor. When filming video, it's essential to remember one of the most important factors, and that is your shutter speed should be double your frame rate, no more, no less, to create the most true to life and pleasing motion blur. So if you're filming in 24 frames per second, your shutter speed should be no more than 1 50th of a second. But when you're filming in daylight or in a very bright scene, you're going to have to do something about too much light coming into your sensor, otherwise it's going to be completely overexposed. And that's where Shift Cam's neutral density filters come into play. They're going to give you so much greater control over your exposure and with Cinema P3 app you're going to be able to have full control over your shutter speed when filming video as well. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions about what I've covered or something that I haven't been able to cover always feel free to reach out in the comments down below or on Instagram at Johnny Romes. Definitely check out ShiftCam on Instagram and the website down below as well. And if you're interested in picking up any of these lenses that I've talked about or the entire kit, they do offer different bundles on their website and you can build your own. And don't forget to use the code JROMES10 to save 10% off. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, I'll see you later.